Thank you for attending the Student Organization Summit, and we hope you enjoy the following session. If you're viewing this workshop after the live premiere, make sure to visit our YouTube channel or official website to see an archive of all past discussions and workshops. And now, on to your presentation. Hey there, and welcome to our presentation on Transition is Key, Building Mechanisms to Improve Officer Transition. My name is Adam Ryan Daniels. I work at the University of California, Riverside, uh, where I advise student organizations. And I'm also the founder of the Student Organization Summit. So for the next 20 minutes or so, we're gonna talk about transition, what groups need, and some things that we've created here at Riverside that you might be able to steal. So first, I wanna let you know a little bit about UC Riverside. Uh, so you can see how comparable our institutions are. Right now we're at about 25,000 students, both undergrad and graduate. Uh, we have about 500 student orgs, and we're about an hour and a half outside of Los Angeles in a mostly commuter campus. So a lot of our students come during the day and then leave in the afternoon and evening, and they don't stay here. To give you some history, we started to notice that student organizations were not meeting requirements. They were missing deadlines. And we realized a lot of this is they didn't know about them. They didn't know that there were things they had to do. No one told them. Their contacts weren't updated. So we were emailing people that were no longer in charge of the club. There was this big gap between what they thought they should be doing and what really they were required to be doing. We also saw that orgs were continually losing their own history. Uh, they were losing passwords. They were losing kind of how to complete processes. How do you reserve rooms? How do you get budgets? Uh, and then they were losing even feedback about how past events went, what fundraisers in the past couple years worked. They couldn't tell you. So every year it was starting from scratch and reinventing the wheel. Things that officers last year figured out but never told the new people or the new people didn't think to ask. So we were again seeing this huge disconnect. And of course all this was compounded by COVID-19 and not having to do a lot of these things for a year and a half, they obviously lost. How do you complete processes? How do I do this? Where does this exist? Where does the service exist? Um, and so now groups just need help relearning how to do all those things. Now, five or six years ago, we realized that this was a problem, that transition was missing. It wasn't happening. So we thought about two different ways that we could do transition workshops. Uh, the first way was a very familiar general workshop. Any student leader could attend and we would talk about transitioning officer titles and positions. The other type that we tried was we will go to you and do a very particular transition workshop for your club where outgoing and incoming officers can talk, will facilitate this conversation uh, and really tailor it to them. Now these general workshops, not very effective because we weren't specific. It was about kind of the general what groups should be doing. Uh, a student org might only have one person there that is now responsible for trying to do all of this. Um, a lot of groups did not go, right? We're all familiar with workshops with zero attendance. Uh, so not super effective. And then the workshops that were effective, these catered specific workshops for a student org, were rare that they would ask us to do this. We would do a couple orgs a year. Uh, not, not a lot of groups did it, but it was effective for the groups that did. There's also a scheduling issue with trying to get every incoming and outgoing officer to show up at a certain time is obviously difficult to figure out. So then we thought about how do we fix those problems and embrace the things that worked about these transition workshops. So we were thinking about what is a asynchronous resource that we could create and offer that a student org could tap into whenever. You know, their convenience, their meetings, it is an activity guide for them, you know, whenever they need it. So we created a transition manual. Uh, and the first one that we created was for presidents. So this is a guide for the incoming president to complete. I was just elected president of the chess club. I'm now going to fill out this document. And it walks them through activities that they should be doing and questions that they should be asking of the outgoing president. It asks them for fields that they should be completing. What are certain passwords? How do we do this thing? 
uh, when is our culture show usually happening? It prompts them on what questions to ask. It also asks more general kind of qualitative questions. So how did the last year go? What sort of fundraisers worked? Things that they just get to pick the brain of the outgoing president and then they're gonna complete and write it down in this document. So hopefully this guided conversation between the two of them puts the incoming president in a place where they feel more equipped, more prepared, they have all these answers and they have this guide that they can refer back to whenever they need to. And then we sneak in little things that they, we think they should know. So deadlines, requirements, so that the incoming officer is reading, oh, I have to re-register at this time. If I wanna sign up for this, here's when I need to do it. And then the outgoing officer can say, yeah, that's really important for our group to stay active. So it's reinforcing requirements, deadlines, things they need to be doing. So we're gonna take a look now at some of the sections of our transition manual. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you how to see the full document, but let's walk you through some of the sections right now. So the way that it is structured is there's basically three big sections for basic level functioning, intermediate level functioning, and advanced level functioning. So basic is, of course, things that pretty much every group needs to do. To be a club, you need to meet requirements. You need to table and recruit. Uh, you need to probably be getting a budget. You need to reserve rooms. Things that are fairly common that most student orgs need to know. That's basic, foundational stuff. And then the intermediate is if you want to be a good student org, you want to, you know, your numbers you want to go up, your events you want to be bigger, intermediate's going to cover that stuff. And then advanced level is really stuff that you're doing like goal setting, strategic planning, things that the group can do to set, you know, set up a path of success for the future. Things that you can do now that will benefit the group for years and years, things that are completely optional, uh, winning awards, you know, things that they don't have to do, but advanced level, if they want to, we're gonna tell them how to. So here's some examples of the basic level functioning sections in our guide. Uh, so for example, review the transition manual. They're doing that right now and they should be doing that on an annual basis. Reviewing the student work handbook. Yes, they should be doing annually. And then if they click on that, you know, page jump to section, it's gonna actually explain what they should be doing, links, trainings, uh, anything that relates to that check mark, that goal, uh, is gonna be on that page. So this is kind of a table of contents of everything in the basic section. You're gonna see things like they need to change signatories for their bank accounts, uh, they need to re-register, they need to schedule a check-in meeting with one of their advisors. So here it's gonna tell them what to do, and then they can click and learn more uh, if they need to know how to. So here's an example of what it looks like if they were to click into one of those things. So reviewing the officer transition manual, It'll tell them, hey, this is the, the manual you should be reading. Then there's a couple check boxes for saying that the incoming president has reviewed this manual with the outgoing president during a meeting. Once they've done that, they can check that box. It also says that they should schedule a meeting for the next election cycle. So keeping in mind that the incoming officer is gonna be in a flipped position in the next year and be helping a new president fill out a manual just like this. So they should remember to schedule that to do that meeting. You're also gonna see like that bottom section that says updating Highlander link. That is our database for student orgs. Uh, it's gonna to link to a video that they should watch uh, and a couple things they need to be doing on that page. So updating their roster, uh, assigning new positions, things like that. So they're gonna watch the video, do those activities, check those boxes. You're also gonna see activities like this where uh, we list kind of the, the basic accounts that they probably have and then a place for them to put in what those passwords are. So you're not gonna see duplicate Instagrams being set up. You're not gonna have duplicate emails because they don't have access to it. This is a way just to make sure that every year they all know where to find all those passwords. You're also gonna see some more open-ended uh, fields. So like if they have an advisor, they're gonna list their information. How often did they meet with them? Um, that's good for the incoming officer to know like how often should I be talking to this person, weekly, monthly, quarterly? It gives them an idea what to prepare for. Then it asks a little bit about the goals of the club. Um, what was the outgoing president trying to do, right? If the outgoing president, their big push was for membership and new members, then the incoming president should continue that effort, right? So that all that work isn't undone. 
Then once they get past the basic, they're going to get into the intermediate and advanced level activities, which are deeper activities that are kind of requiring conversation and maybe can even be done as a whole board or as an organization. So things like goal setting, evaluating how the last year went. Uh, these are going to be things that maybe require more than just the two incoming outgoing presidents. And again, these things are not necessary for the group to exist, but optimal if the group wants to thrive. Right, so if you meet an ambitious president that comes in and says, I want this group to be outstanding, I wanna change everything, I want us to be effective and efficient, then you can say, well, here's the advanced level stuff you can be doing if you really want to. So for example, there's a page where they can fill in some SMART goals. And prior to this, we'll explain what the goals are. There's a video training that they watch, and then they fill in these boxes so that the incoming officer can think about goals for the year, any goals that the outgoing might have had. Uh, they start thinking big picture about the entire year and what the group wants to be doing. There's also a timeline here, and so the president gets an idea when they should be doing certain things and when campus events tend to be happening. Here you'll see an example of September, which is when we start school. Uh, they're gonna sign up for what we call the expo, which is like a tabling fair. There's some mandatory trainings they need to go to. And then they're gonna begin the budgeting process with our student government. So this kind of gives them an idea, what should be happening now? So, you know, after a couple of months, they can revisit this and say, oh my gosh, in December, this is coming up. Or January, there's another tabling fair. We should be getting ready for that. Uh, so it just gives them an idea what they should be doing when. And then there's plenty of blank spots for them to fill in. This is when our national conference is, or this is when our big event every year always happens in November. Uh, so they can fill in and make this timeline specific to them. So now what has the response been to this? Uh, we do an assessment and we have them complete it when we give them the guide. So when we send out an email and say, hey everyone, here's the transition manual. Before you start, fill out a pre-assessment. And then the very last page of the transition manual when they get there is to fill out an evaluation uh, in terms of how it was, how did it go, how were the activities, did they learn anything new? So we can see where they were before and where they are after. And in a nutshell, the presidents very much enjoy the document. Uh, it is effective, they like the ability to do it on their own time, um, that it's not a scheduling issue, they get to decide, they love that. We also see that the groups that complete this tend to do things earlier, like meeting certain requirements. If we tell them that throughout the year you have to do a check-in meeting with one of their advisors, these groups see that and they say, we should do that meeting now, instead of waiting until you know, they get that last reminder, you know, in the last couple weeks of school, you need to come in and do this. These groups tend to be way more proactive. So what's next? We're working on two expansions to the transition manual. The first one is a video that kind of walks them through the manual and it's a little bit more facilitated by us. So the video will ask them, in this section, you need to write this down, think about this, here's some ideas, pause the video and resume when you're done. And so now they can you know, watch the video either together or separately. Uh, they can watch it as an exec board and see it as a transition for the group. Uh, some sort of guided transition that is asynchronous but still valuable and effective. So we're gonna try that. And then we're also gonna branch off and start doing other positions. So the marketing social media person has a transition manual that says, here's what you need, files you need to ask for, here's when things happen. Uh, while the treasurer might be much more about banking, fundraising, finances. Um, so we're gonna create specific transition manuals for other positions. Now that we've kind of tested out and piloted the president manual for a couple years. Um, now we're going to try it with some other positions. So if you want to see the entirety of our president's transition manual, uh, down in the description, you're going to see a link to a Dropbox where I have it uploaded. You can download it. Um, you can steal anything you want if you think it's useful. Obviously, there's a lot of campus specific stuff, but you can at least look through and be like, we should talk about that. Oh, we missed the part about budgets and banking. Uh, hopefully it gives you some ideas. So you can steal that, use it all you want. 
Uh, if you have questions, we're not going to do a Q&A today because this is a half hour block and we're kind of getting ready for the next big sessions. Uh, but if you have questions, I'm going to put my contact info on the screen. I'm going to give you my UCR email, a generic Gmail account, uh, and then the Student Org Summit account I'm also answering. Uh, so you can try any of those if you have questions about the manual. Uh, if you want to meet and further discuss it, just let me know. So I hope this was useful. Uh, hopefully this gives you at least a couple things to think about and take back to your team and see if they might work. So enjoy the rest of the summit and thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this presentation. To see other presentations, workshops, and discussions, feel free to utilize our YouTube channel or official website.